Okay, so we're going to continue with this particular problem. We have two types of tents. We have standard tent and expedition tent. The standard tent takes one hour of cutting and three hours of assembly. The standard or the expedition tent takes two hours of cutting and four hours of assembly. I may have said that backwards. No, nope, I said it right. Okay. And then what is added, what's new in 5.3 is this objective function. So remember the objective for this particular equation is, or this problem is, um, we want to have a profit of $50 per standard tent and $80 per expedition tent. So now we need to figure out, okay, what's the maximum profit that I can make? Well, maximums only happen at the corner points. So that's why it's important to find the corner points. So obviously, here's a corner point. And when I say quarter point, I mean only the, the surrounding corners of the feasible region. So if this is my feasible region, I have a corner point here, 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 and here. So right there is a corner point. That's where the two, the blue and the green line cross. So we have to find the values or the ordered pair for that one. The other three are already done for us. We know this is zero, zero. It's a corner point. We know this is the y-intercept of the blue line. So this is why you want to keep it color coordinated. Y-intercept of the blue line, so that's this one. So the y-intercept was 0, 16. So that is another, I'm going to put it in blue so that we know it. So this is 0, 16. This one down here is the x-intercept of the green line. This is the green line and we're looking for the x-intercept, and I have them written off, off camera for you. So the x-intercept of the green line was 28, 0. Okay, so the only one now that we have to figure out is this point right here. So where the green and the blue cross. Well, remember, the only way to find where the two um, lines cross is elimination. So we're going to rewrite our equation so the blue is x plus 2y is equal to 32. And again, since um, we have already are done with shading, the inequalities don't matter anymore. And then the green line is 3x plus 4y is equal to 84. So now we're going to use elimination. So this was what you learned, uh, I believe it was 4.1. Okay, so here we go. I'm just, you can pick either one. You can either get rid of the x or get rid of the y. It's your choice. For our purposes, I'm just going to multiply everything through by negative 3. So I get negative 3x minus 6y equals a negative 96. So 3 times x, or negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2y is negative 6y, and negative 3 times 32 is a negative 96. Now I can add. The x's go away. I end up with a negative 2y equals a negative 12, 96 minus 84. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, so my y equals 6. All right, now, remember these were in twos, two, four, six. So we're very close to the y value being six, so that fits. Make sure your answer fits somewhat with your graph, okay? All right, so I have my y value of that point. Now I need my x value. So remember, when you plug it back in, plug it back into one of the original equations. So I'm just going to plug it into this first one. So I'm going to do this over here. So I have x plus 2 times 6 equals 32. So x plus 12 equals 32. Subtract 12 from both sides and x equals 20. Okay, so that also makes sense. So here's 28, come back 4, and there's about 20. So my other corner point is at 20 and 6. Okay, so here is our last step. I'm going to have to erase this now. So here's the last step. So this is the added um, step in 5.3. Remember, the goal was how many tenths of each kind do I need to produce to make maximum profit? Well, our profit function, our objective, was this. Okay, that goes back to the word problem. 
We make $50 profit on the standard tent and $80 profit on the expedition tent. I'm going to use my X's and Y's, plug them into here to calculate and see which one will give me my highest profit. So obviously when I plug zero in, I get zero, right? 50 times zero is zero, 80 times zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero. When I do zero and 16, my X value is zero, so this is what I'm doing. My Y value is 16, okay? And I'm just calculating. So 80 times 16, I'm going to cheat and use my calculator. It's not really cheating, it just makes it go faster. So definitely use your calculator. So 80 times 16. So this, my maximum profit, is 1,280, okay? Now I'm going to do my next corner point. So my Z value, X is 28, so I'm going to go 50 times 28 plus 80 times 0, and I'm getting that from here, X and Y. So now I'm going to go 50 times 28 equals 1,400. Okay, and now I'm going to do my last corner point, so 20 and 6. So my objective is 50 times 20 plus 80 times 6. So 50 times 20 is 1,000 plus 80 times 6 is $1,480. So the corner point at 20 comma 6 will give us the maximum profit. Now let's interpret this. Here's what this means. I can produce 20 standard tents and 6 expedition tents and make a maximum profit of $1,480. So that is our maximum profit. And that is linear programming using the geometric method.